I, I agreed with the, the judge who gave it to him. It was subjective, though, the scoring. I'm not complaining about it. I thought he'd done enough to win the fight. I thought I gave Usyk the first round and then Tyson over those next uh, five or six rounds took total command of the fight. Um, when he got hit on the on the nose, I thought his nose was broken. It was troubling. He seemed to keep touching his nose in, during the fight and he lost, his con he lost his concentration in the next round and unfortunately got clipped by somebody who got to see a bit of blood and got back into the fight again. And I take my hat off to him. It was, a, it was a truly epic fight. It was a brilliant fight. Frank, what was going through your head in that ninth round? It was a very tough round. How Tyson Look, survived that? Could it, should it have been stopped? No, no, he stopped. He went on, didn't he? You know, he, he went on and fought. Why should it have been stopped? He wasn't knocked out. He got up, he rolled. He, he, he's got great recuperative powers. I don't want to see him get hit at all, to be quite honest, but he's got re great recuperative powers, and he came back into the fight. He won the last round, in my opinion. Um, I didn't... Usyk didn't win six rounds of the, the, the last six rounds, but obviously there was a there was a 10-8 round with a knockdown. Um, but you know, I'm not, no complaints about it. It is what it is, and at the end of the day, whether you're a Tyson Fury fan or an Usyk fan or whatever, you got truly entertained tonight in an absorbing and great fight. Frank, is there anything in there tonight that surprised you about Alexander Usyk? We've seen him against Joshua Standish ground. Did it again tonight with Tyson. A lot of people thought he wouldn't, but did anything surprise you about his performance? Well, I don't think he, he stood his ground in the end, but he weren't standing his ground for, from sort of third round till about the what was it, the, the sixth or seventh round. Tyson was was I, I, I generally thought Tyson was going to stop him. He was catching him a lot, but he came back into the fight because he's a warrior. They're undefeated fighters. They've got they got such pride, you know. Like Tyson said in the press conference, he doesn't box for money. He's a very wealthy man. He boxes because he wants to fight. That's what he is. And it's the same with Usyk. They want the fight. They want it to be the unified champion of the world. And Usyk is now. Before the fight, there's a lot of people talking about this rematch. And now, obviously, we're at the end of the fight. Because people were saying, you know, they might cancel each other. It might be a high-quality chess match. But because it was such a thriller, because it had the drama, there's now going to be clamour for this again. Would you advise Tyson? I know he's his own man, but you want to see that run back? I want to see Tyson when it, everyone's emotions are high at the moment. It was a very, it was a great fight and it's not the time to even discuss it. Whatever he wants to do, I'll support him. And if he should retire, I'll be, I believe I'll be one of the first people along with his, or with his family who would say to him, that's what you need to do. He's shown powers of recovery in so many fights and when you see him like continuously battle and get through these tough moments, what's going through your mind when you're seeing him hurt and he's, he still manages to stay on his feet and get through well, almost? I know, I know that he's a true fighting man, but I don't want to see him getting, getting that. And it was a lapse, it was genuinely a lapse of concentration. He got clipped and Usyk, smelt blood that's what happened Frank how much do you think the, the big shot in I think it was the 6th or 7th round that, that busted Tyson's nose changed the direction of the fight it, it troubled him I don't, I'm not saying it changed it, 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 he lost a little bit of concentration and it, and I thought because obviously if you break your nose the blood and you're biting on a gum shield it's difficult to breathe and I think and he kept touching it didn't he if you noticed in the fight but it's what it is I mean listen, when people are throwing punches at you they're going to do damage Frank regardless of what's your man lost. How great a fight was that? We were well, like, isn't that what, what it's all exactly. about, wasn't it? We said what it'd be. It'd be a great, epic fight, and that's exactly what it was. Thank you so much for your